Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a half double crochet stitch. So in my last two videos I showed you how to do a slip stitch and a single crochet and today I'm going to show you how to do a half double crochet. So, oh, and a quick um, update. I am doing using the same hook as the last two videos, the 5.5 millimeter or eye hook. And I'm using a standard four ply yarn. And you can use any four ply yarn from any company. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver. And so I just did a slip knot and I'm going to be crocheting 12 chain stitches. Um, I do have a tutorial on how to do slip knot and uh, these chain stitches there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so in my last two videos I only did 11 chain stitches but for this purposes of this video I'm doing 12 um, because this time instead of skipping one we're gonna skip two chain stitches so we're not going to do anything with those two chain stitches we're going to leave them alone we're going to yarn over so this one remember that the last two videos that i showed you you didn't have to yarn over with this one you do so you grab your hook and the yarn yarn over like this and then put your hook through the chain the third chain stitch grab your yarn and pull through all three loops at the same time okay so yarn over pull your hook through grab the yarn and pull through all three loops yarn over Grab the yarn. I don't know why it's easier for me to pull through this way, but it is. And that's it. That's a half double crochet stitch. So you yarn over. Always make sure you do that before you put insert your hook through the chain stitch. Grab the yarn. Pull through all three. Just like that. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the chain stitch and pull through all three. Yarn over. And just like in my other videos, you are more than welcome to continue adding rows or you can go ahead and just do a bunch of chain stitches and practice these stitches doing it that way either way works it is important to try and practice these different stitches individually and really try to memorize them um, because trust me even the most complicated patterns will have these basic stitches as well as other stitches. And then all three, just like that. And so in my last two videos, I only chained one. For this, we're going to chain two and then flip our work. And then we're going to yarn over. And um, just like I mentioned in my single crochet, everyone does their edging differently. Some people like to put their uh, a chain, a chain, I'm sorry, not a chain. Some people like to put a stitch in the beginning and skip the last stitch. And some people like to skip the first stitch and put um, a stitch at the end. Either way works. 
um, both will give you pretty straight edging but you do have to skip one or the other so you just yarn over pull it through and then screw all three yarn over and there you go yarn over insert grab yarn and pull through all three it's okay if you're struggling with this when you're first starting off or even if you've been crocheting for a little while um, we all have our different strengths and weaknesses when i first started crocheting i couldn't for well i didn't see the value in memorizing the basic stitches so i just kind of said whatever i'll figure it out when it comes and uh, I learned very quickly that is not helpful at all. So then I went back and started trying to really memorize the basic stitches before I started a pattern. Um, and that helped out tremendously and cut my time doing a pattern. So um, that's why I always tell people, please familiarize yourself with these stitches before you, you begin any pattern. All right. Um, so that is the end of our video. Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Um, I am going to put a link to my Instagram down in the description below so you can follow me on any current projects that I'm doing. I hope that you guys learned from this and all, all of my other videos. Um, I'm so excited to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll join you in the next video. Bye.